new to Forex trading? Here's how you start your journey as a complete beginner, all explained in just five minutes. The Forex market is huge and trades at trillion dollars at any given time. And simply put, it's basically the power that one currency has against another. So when you open a chart, all the fluctuations that you're seeing are basically this. But how do you start? Firstly, you're going to need a broker and we're going to make sure that it's legit. To make sure of this, we're going to search for a broker in the FCA, which stands for Financial Conduct Authority. Basically, their job is to regulate anyone who deals with money. So we're going to scroll down here and search for our broker. Make sure you select firms you want to see the following page when you search a broker which shows that it's actually regulated and what you don't want to see is unauthorized or no longer authorized next you want to create an account with your authorized broker i personally use paperstone i'm not sponsored by the way and on your broker's landing page should be a button that says join now they always have those navigate to this area and enter all the details that you're going to use for your trading after you've created an account you're going to want to log in and if you're a beginner or back testing a strategy this part is important always start with a demo trading is not that easy promise you. request for an account and choose the platform that you're going to trade on you also have the option to choose your account type as well as the money you're going to trade start low make it realistic and here you can change the name of the account as well as the currency your account should be then instantly created and you can start downloading mt5 on your desktop the process is going to be exactly the same if you have chosen mt4 c trader or trading view as your platform after downloading is done it's going to ask you for your login details now, pay close attention to this part because we're going to link our accounts to our mobile phones. So, after the download is done, you want to go to your app store and download MetaTrader 4 or 5, whichever you chose. To be honest, there's not much difference between the two. And when you open the app, this is what you see. You have the option of opening a demo account with the MetaTrader itself. But since we chose a broker, we're going to do it with our broker. So, all you need to do is search for the broker that you chose in the search bar. Some brokers have many servers, just make sure you choose the right one. After you choose the right one, it's going to prompt you to enter your login details as well as your password. Check in the email that you used to sign up. Your broker is likely to send you your details over there. All you need to do is open it up and copy and paste the details. Go back to your MetaTrader, change the server to a demo server and enter your details. And if you scroll to this icon, you're going to see the paper money that you loaded in earlier. These two arrows will show you all your currencies that you want to trade. And if you choose one, you're going to be able to select the leverage you want to trade, enter your stop loss, as well as your take profit, all over here. Making your mobile app perfect for your market executions, as well as maintaining exactly how your trade is going. But MetaTrader also has a desktop version, which looks like this, which is a bit clunky and confusing for me. So to make charting a bit easier for you, I got a better platform, which is TradingView. Again, I'm not sponsored. The reason why I go with TradingView is that it's so much easier to understand and as countless tools that you can use for your trading, including free indicators that you can test that are made by other creators, as well as the general traditional indicators that we're all used to and you see on other platforms. You can play around with a combination of all these indicators and you can turn them on and off at your liking. These can become especially useful to a beginner when you're trying to figure out exactly how to trade, as some of them show you things like order blocks, how to draw lines of support and resistance, and so on. Remember, indicators are there to help you with your technical analysis. Always perform proper technical analysis before you start implementing indicators in your strategy. But the cool features that TradingView comes with don't end there. You can also view some news that might be affecting the markets at any given time. You always want to stay informed when you're trading a particular pair. You can also set up trading alerts so that you're alerted when price gets to a point that you're interested in. Going back to the news, you can also dig deeper into the news that is affecting any other market in the main menu. This includes crypto and indices as well. Next, you're going to need a strategy and I have a lot of those on this channel where I explain every single strategy as simply as possible. Choosing a strategy that suits you is going to be dependent on what kind of trader you are. Some traders are heavily reliant on using indicators in their strategy and if you're any good, this comes with a combination of technical analysis as well. Some traders like trading price action, which is king when it comes to the forex market. A lot of beginners just like looking at lines of support and resistance. But for my next tip, I highly recommend that you get a mint and I can do exactly this for you. At whatever level you are, a beginner or a bit knowledgeable in the forex market i can be your mentor i offer mentorship packages where we can dig deep into your trading and look at how to be profitable as well as direct access to all the trades that i take in any given day trust me the journey is easier when you have someone help and for those that would like pre-recorded material i also offer that which includes my strategy that i've tried and tested over and over again trust me it works i've left all my contact details as well as my social media details in the link below so contact me let's trade together thank you for watching